Laugh therapy is a very useful strategy, and now we have the opportunity to implement laugh therapy in primary care. As a healthcare professional, I would really emphasize that it's very important for people to understand what emotional intelligence is for our daily lives. Depende de muchísimas cosas, de cómo evaluamos nuestros problemas. Y Para mejorar ¿no? la inteligencia emocional de la gente, yo creo que es importante. I would insist on in the importance of having strong social support. In many occasions, family and friends can help us overcome and soften the impact of painful situations that happen in our lives. Amigos, pues nos pueden ayudar a sobrellevar, a amortiguar, pues el impacto de esas situaciones dolorosas que acontecen en nuestra vida, de, mm. en nuestro día a día. Además está muy claro que. Somos... In fact, it is very clear that we are social animals, and we have to learn to distance ourselves from toxic people that will only generate more problems than pain. Que lo único que nos van a, a, a provocar y a generar pues son problemas. What do you think? We could start the film by explaining the anatomical basis of our emotions. We don't have time to explain anatomy in detail. Yes, maybe it is too much. It could be very long. The human brain consists of three independent brains. We have a rational brain located in the neocortex, an emotional brain or limbic system formed by the thalamus, hypothalamus, hippocampus, and cerebral amygdala, and a more primitive brain located in the brainstem. It is called the reptilian brain and it is in charge of our survival. The three brains are interconnected at a neuronal and biochemical level. We know that the limbic system continuously interacts with the cerebral cortex. A high-speed transmission allows the limbic system and the neocortex to work together, and this helps us control our emotions. Jorge, since you are involved with laugh therapy, what if we perform surgery on you? We could do a biopsy of your brain and see it under the microscope to observe the functioning limbic system. Great, great, I love it because the resonance images of the brain are very complex and a biopsy could give us more information. You're mad. Are you crazy? No, 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 no! Let's disinfect the head, the skin. It's a little cold. Now I'm going to stimulate the amygdala. When you feel like laughing, let me know so I can do a little biopsy there. My nose is tickling. What are you bringing me here? A little biopsy of the area of the cerebral amygdala. It has not been fixed. It's strange. What happened? The neurons are still active. We have to be serious. Laugh therapy is a very serious thing. We have to be rigorous when recommending this therapeutic tool. This way we can silence the opposition. In our view, there are seven different modalities of laugh therapy, depending on the target population. Each one of them with indications, methodologies, and potential benefits totally different. For pediatric age, in hospitals, oncology and others, in schools, 
for physically and or intellectually disabled individuals, for individuals with autism spectrum disorders, for adult age, in primary health care, health care centers, in working environments, for geriatric population, basic activities of daily living, in day centers and hospices. Laughing is a very beneficial therapeutic tool with a very important potential when in the hands of motivated and correctly educated professionals. We should do an effort to integrate laugh therapy workshops in primary health care centers with the minimum cost as possible. What do you think, Jorge? It seems the biopsy we have done is not healing fast enough. You smile while I explain. We propose a model of a laugh therapy workshop that can be implemented into the routine of primary health care. We recommend a duration of approximately 90 minutes for each workshop. The optimum number of participants per workshop varies between 20 and 30 adults. The material needed is very simple. A music player and a low-cost closet containing a variety of dress-up clothes. We recommend these workshops to be instructed by at least two professionals. That could be physicians, physician assistants, or nurses. We suggest, for example, to have the professionals wear their lab coats at the beginning of the workshops prior to them also getting dressed up later in the session with the rest of the participants. Having at least two professionals will allow them to take turns during the different activities and facilitates the fact that one can run the workshop and explain each activity, while the second one can observe and monitor the progress of the participants' involvement. The model of laugh therapy workshop we propose is very simple. It consists of three parts. A first part aimed at the introduction starter with the duration of approximately 15 minutes. A second phase aimed at the core of the workshop, the main activities, with a duration of 60 minutes. And a last phase for closing and farewells with a duration of 15 minutes. At the beginning of the workshop, we will introduce ourselves as healthcare professionals, explaining with a little presentation the importance of emotional intelligence and empathy. When the participants already know the others, we can practice games with more interaction, such as I am itching here with some physical contact. It is important for the participants to develop listening skills, respecting turns with their partners, and maintaining minimal interruption. When the participants are new and don't know each other, we can use other types of games without physical contact with a gradual progression, starting with an individual introduction of each participant to continue with a group introduction. The main activities of the workshop have a duration of 60 minutes and consist of four phases. A first phase of stretching and disinhibition, a second phase with the game dynamics, a third phase of laugh gymnastics, and a fourth phase of healthcare education. Stretch and disinhibition phase. During this phase, we dedicate some time to relax and perform stretching exercises the same way we would do before any other physical activity. At the present time, there are still many prejudices against laughing. Therefore, we consider it necessary to perform these exercises to disinhibit and break the ice. Games such as We Are Babies are very beneficial and effective, allowing participants to be less inhibited and open up easily. Games and Dynamics phase. During this phase, we have to interconnect different games and dynamics. The main focus can be modified depending on the different pathologies presented in the participants. There are multiple games, competition games, collaboration and complicity games, etc. Any one of them will allow the integration of the participants into the group dynamics. The use of music greatly facilitates the integration and the fun, and we create an environment of happiness that stimulates the activities. The key point in these games is to modulate different games in a cyclic way, intertwining those that require more physical effort than those that can be performed while comfortably sitting. Con la mano derecha tocamos la oreja izquierda. 
Y con la mano izquierda tocamos la nariz. Ah. Mano derecha arriba todo el mundo. Ahí. There are many exercises that allow us to achieve maximum laughing without stimulus or games. The main idea is to produce laughs, initially in a forced way, but by the end achieving a collective laugh. We are integrating the laugh into health care, so it is important to include health education into these game dynamics. We consider it necessary to always include games for healthcare education. Con mucha fuerza. Ahora lo va a hacer despacito. No, pero encima de la sin la mano. Ahí tú ves. No hace falta, no hace falta poner la mano. Y que conste que si te pones la mano no habría ningún problema tampoco. Sí. Y debemos de tenemos que comer fruta porque es necesaria. Además necesitamos una ocasión para aquí para sentarnos. Y vamos a sentarnos con la espalda recta y con el culete lo más atrás posible. Vale, lo ideal sería que como a mí esta silla incluso me quedaría un poquito, o sea, pongo los pies en el suelo, pero lo ideal sería que nuestra rodilla formase un ángulo de 90 grados. Tampoco ayuda, o si conseguimos ayuda, avisamos a alguien para que llame por teléfono. ¿A qué tenemos que llamar? ¿A dónde tenemos que llamar? The last part of the laugh workshop, with a duration of approximately 15 minutes, consists of three parts: final reflections, relaxation, and farewells. We will dedicate five minutes to do a review of the most important parts of the workshop. It is fundamental that the participants take with them a clear understanding of the obtained benefits. Considering the high degree of excitement achieved during the main activities, it is necessary to spend some time relaxing the participants. During this phase, the participants can lie on the floor or sit on chairs, one behind another, in rows, and use massage to transmit calming energy. The distance between them should be minimal to provoke physical contact or the maximum closeness possible between them, paying attention to adequate breathing. Participants and instructors give their farewells, reminding everyone about the dates for the next workshop.